We are live. Welcome to the Mad Chat, everybody. Um, awesome, we've got so many people here already. Happy Mothering Sunday to um, all, uh, if you're living in England and Ireland. And also, I think it's, I think it's, um, they celebrate Mother's Day in all English speaking countries. I think it's on the fourth week of Lent or something. But um, yes, to everyone, to every mother that's watching today, um, congratulations on being a mummy. Um, we had a lovely walk in the park um, and in the woods with uh, mother-in-law. She made a lovely ginger biscuit, oh, very nice. And then afterwards we came home and then and went and saw my mum and had a nice coffee. So it was like, nice to see them. Um, so I hope you've had a lovely day. We have got so many um, great guys and girls here already. Michael Wilde, Rory Brace, Chuck Biscuit, Idle Time, Frazier Nash. Um, awesome time in the UK. We have got Mr. Kevlar, excellent. We have got Glenn, Glenn Reynolds is here. Sorin's here. Matthew, uh, Matthew Flinders is here, lovely stuff. What you watching? Excellent from Canada, my friend. That is brilliant. Um, it is awesome to see you here. Uh, we are talking about betas today, aren't we? Okay, beta watches, incredible stuff. Um, uh, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to do a Casio corner. Casio corner today is brought to you by Nicholas Moran. 13. I don't know if Nicholas is going to watch this live show, but um, congratulations to him. I don't know why I haven't showed off one of these watches yet. I think it's I'm just too scared. They're too big for me, for my little wrists. Um, I know that they're, I think they're 44 millimetres um, in, in, in case diam diameter, but look at this sturdy watch. I mean, this was 40, 50 quid. You can't buy them now for, for you know, at least 80, 90 <clears throat> quid. Um, Nicholas does probably, Chummy Biscuit, have my wrist size, and he just about pulls this off from the lug to lug, doesn't he? Um, I love the uh, awesome big uh, Rolex crown on the right there. Look at that 200 meters water resistance. I love a little dash of red on the seconds hand. You've got a date complication. It's a nice looking watch, isn't it? It looks like a decent bezel. I'd love to twiddle that and get uh, uh, Kurt Santana in on some of that. I will have a Juro in here very soon, uh, I promise. Um, it's a very solid watch and I will get one in soon. Lovely handset on there as well. I do like it. But yeah, it looks like Nicholas has got my size wrist and um, yeah, I just about pulls it off. I'm going to let him off for that. I'm going to let him off for that. He's a good lad. So um, it's about that sort of time that we... Get your watch out! What the... Um, I... Um, uh, you're going to get ready to tell me what you're wearing, team. Um, uh, Gareth's here. Richie's here. Ted's here. Nice to see you guys. I am wearing the Casio Royale AE1200 something something. I'm going to find out in a minute. I love it, the little gold. This made an appearance on the Casio Royale um, show I did. Uh, it's a lovely watch. It's a lovely beta. I'll talk about it a little bit more later. Um, but yeah, tell me what you're wearing, team. I'd like to know, are you celebrating beta day? Um, wearing your favourite beta watch? Um, or are you fancying it up? Are you being a bit luxury today with maybe a fancy, I don't know, a Tissot sort of fancy visit date or something? Um, time time in the UK is rocking his sharky monster, red dial, cartoon style, lovely stuff. Michael's got his Casio DW290. Yes, that's one of my beaters, my friend. Um, Frasier has got the Mako, ooh, the Mako 11. I need to have a look at that, my friend. Absolutely. Glenn has got a superb beater. Um, watch, I would, I would definitely put this in. Vostok Scuba Dude, absolutely. What have we got here? Oh, he's changed, he's changed his profile, hasn't he? Harry6810, Sunto. I'd love to check out Sunto's, I must admit. Um, Gareth's got his SKX007. Yes, I'm with you there, my friend. Luke Lowry, he's got his uh, G Shop GW6900. I need to look at that. Very nice. Um, Kev 
Mr. Kevlar not only does not have a watch on, that's a little bit rude, isn't it, for this time of the night already, isn't it? He's a naughty boy. Um, Mark Linen, how are you doing, my friend? Um, he's, oh, my dear. No, well, this is, this, uh, that is watch luxury, isn't it, he's got on there. He's he's uh, really going for it. Ian, uh, John, uh, it's definitely, oh, that, that is the that is the Casio Oak I want, that camo on the front. I do love that watch. Um, uh, I do like it, absolutely. Jeffrey, what you got? He's got a Zelos black tip on. Very fancy watch, matey. I love that. Um, Matthew's got his Samsung smart watch on. Lovely. He's obviously training and doing some sort of fitness as we speak, watching it, um, uh, watching the show as well. Mako too. Not a sorry. <laughs> I did. He's of, he's got the Orient Mako too. Yes, very nice. I love it. Um, the Mako Eleven. They just haven't made it yet, uh, but that's cool. Oh, Sorin Botes has got the Orient Defender One. I know from watching um, the Time Teller, Jory Goodman, that he has that Defender One, and it's so much better than their second um, iteration of that uh, that watch. I do love it. Kevin, he has got his G-Shock GBA 800. Absolutely lovely, my friend. We might talk about that in a minute. Um, very good. Terry's here. Hi, Terry. Excellent. Uh, oh, people are always um, already telling me their, their fancy um, uh, beaters. Um, so, listen, what I'm going to do is I'm first... Let's, Let's talk about what a beta is, because I'd, I'd like to talk to you about, you know, what you think a beta watch is. Um, to me, it's a watch you have no fear of getting damaged. Yeah, you don't care if it gets a scrape, if it gets scratched. I mean, you care a bit. Obviously, you bought, you paid money for it, so you're going to care. Um, but you're not that bothered. Um, probably because it's it's a little inexpensive. It's not it's not one of your higher um, price watches that you have in your collection. Um, and you you know it's tough. It's rugged. You know it's waterproof in 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 most cases or, or in you know certain um, uh, d to a certain degree. There's no need to service the boys or girls um, these watches. You know there will be servicing if it's a mechanical watch, but you know it won't. It'll be a ten-year period. Um, you know it's basically basically a cat in it. You know not a dog. You know you need to care for these dogs. Um, you know they need to be. To, you need to put them outside to you know have a poo, and you need to walk the dogs. Cats. They, you know you feed them as long as you feed them. They look after themselves. Now obviously I do not suggest that you beat a cat, so don't get any sort of uh, things. I don't want animal cruelty getting on with me. But I, I see, you know, beta watches as, you know, reliable. They're always going to be there because they need feeding, you know what I mean? Uh, they might need a battery or, you know, they might need winding up. But they're never going to let you down, you know. If you want a, if you want a cuddling with a cat, they're going to give you it, you know. That's what I get with my cats anyway. Um, I also see beta watches as, you know, great watches for fiddling with. You know what I mean? If you want to, if you want to regulate um, like I did with the last with one of the last shows, the Vostok Komandersky. I wasn't afraid of opening that case back and have a little twiddle with the with the mechanics of it. You know, I, I I was fascinated with trying to regulate that bad boy. Got it down to like plus one second a um uh, a day on the on the time graph. I was well chuffed with that. You know, for a forty five pounds watch. You know, yeah, it's garish. Uh, looking and it's not made of stainless steel, but you know the engine inside was great and it that is a great beta You know, it's a great beta watch um, You know, so I, I would I would basically call beta watches Everyone needs a beta watch in their collection in my view, you know It's, it's a watch that you would quite easily go and you'd cook with you know if it was a stir-fry or could get a bit of sizzly on the face you know you'd be you'd, you'd be absolutely fine wearing a beta watch you could be gardening outside doing the gardening um you could be playing football you could be playing a sport the other thing i see my beta actually my beta watches are my works watches are my sports watches so i would i would class beta watches as sports watches as well because you know they're going to be shock proof they could possibly be waterproof. And again, you don't mind them taking a knock uh, and taking a scratch in. Do you know what I mean? Um, so uh, I'll, let's just, 
let's just, just see how Al's doing. I uh, hope you're the family. We're working in the garage, fixing the garage door opener with my Seiko Flighty. I love it. I love, I love this. I love to know that people have maybe got me on in the background, either cooking or eating uh, eating some crisps like chummy biscuits with a lovely glass of wine. Um, Al is actually doing something um, practical and useful while watching something that um, could be a bit of gibberish. But Al, it's, a, it's an absolute pleasure. I will get a flighty on the show very soon, my friend. I'm, I'm, I'm very excited to have one on the show. I, I'm desperate to put it on the uh, NDC strap as well, absolutely. Um, uh, <laughs> what does Michael say? A beta, well, if I kill it, so be it. Put it on, do what I have to, and forget I have a watch on. Obviously, you might check the time now and then, Michael, but yes, I am with you. Um, uh, absolutely, you don't mind if it breaks. I think basically it's 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 a huge thing about the price, isn't it? Let, let's face it. I mean, you wouldn't you wouldn't beat a, a thousand pound, two thousand pound watch. However, I do know a couple of clients I know with tennis. I'm a I'm a tennis coach, by the way. If you didn't know um, already, um, I have a couple of clients that have Patek Philippe's, um, and they're work watch is a um rolex submariner you know and yeah that is a lot that is a lot of money for that beta for that to to to, to call that a beta watch but when your your other watches are high end like 30 40 thousand pounds then yeah you probably understand why but also really a rolex a rolex submariner is probably one of the best mechanical beta watches you just wouldn't beat it would you you wouldn't beat it. Um, so there you go. Uh, excellent. V, oh, we've got a V power V. Uh, well, they're beta to be respectable to those that know. Do you, you know what? You are absolutely right, my friend. I, I, I totally agree. Um, uh, yes, absolutely. I think most beta watches, when you talk about Casios and the Vostoks, they do get, I mean, no one's going to see you, you know, wearing it gardening, are they? Unless, the neighbours are interested. Ooh, we'll see wearing um, uh, clothes wise, but also to watch. Um, you wouldn't, you wouldn't, you know, meet them and, and talk to what you're wearing your beater. But you could do. I told you about. Um, there was a, a guy that I played football with that wore an Orient Bambino to, you know, to five a side football. I mean, what was he doing? He's a big lad as well. Um, that was not a beater watch in my view. But um, you know, you know, a sub, a sub should be a beta exactly uh wataki watches and um, it was made to be this beta watch it is you know i i know some people that um uh know their friends work in the production of rolexes and, and they always ask them what's the best watch what's the best rolex to buy and they always say get the submariner get the rolex submariner it's the it's the best watch rolex makes it's the toughest it will last an Armageddon or a zombie apocalypse. Uh, thank you for everyone that watched my um, zombie apocalypse show. I had a lot of fun doing it. Um, obviously, it's purely subjective, isn't it? What my needs were for a zombie apocalypse watch. But it sort of ties into um, betas, you know. It sort of ties into a beta watch um, because it's going to be in my beta watch top 10 that I have here. Um, Chumley Biscuit, they are... They are for divers, absolutely, my friend. Uh, clearance diver friends' watches are all Rolex divers. Mm, that's cool. That's cool. Very cool. Uh, excellent. Um, uh, so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you my I'm going to show you my ten beaters that I have in my collection, um, and then I've got some uh, I've got some watches um, from the Facebook group. Um, if you aren't a Facebook group member yet. Get down there because I ask you guys first, those guys first, about um, future shows that are coming in. There's there's behind the scenes stuff, and also I'd like to get um, those guys' input into the shows, into the making the shows. And you guys that come here for the live stuff, you're the ideal. You're ideal to to, to be a Facebook uh, group member. Noah's here. Hi Noah, how are you doing, my friend? Nice to see you. Um, Psycho Foo's here. What's he got? Oh, Kamasu Strap Code Super J. Very good, my friend. Can't get a better watch um, a beta than a Kamasu. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a little list. 
um, of mine um, from um, cheapest to most expensive. And like I said, my my beta watches are my sports watches. So I will wear it playing football. I will wear it, you know, playing frisbee. I will wear it doing croquet. You know, us, us English love a bit of croquet. Um, uh, but uh, I also will wear them, uh, most of them in the garden, in the swimming pool, in the summertime, you know, those two days of summer for us um, English guys um, and girls. Uh, so, uh, yes, yeah, so my first, obviously we've got to talk about the F91W. Let's just get that out. There's the elephant in the room. Let's just get, if you haven't seen my um, show on, on the Casio F91W, please go and do it. It's, um, it's a fantastic watch. Um, it's arguably the only watch you really need unless you are diving to silly um, depths um, or, you know, you, 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 you want an office watch, you know, you want something a bit blingier. Um, it's a fantastic watch, 50 metres water resistant, but we all know it can go deeper than that. It can take an absolute beating and keep on pulsing, you know. Um, so the Casio F91W, £10.00. For a digital icon, it's got an alarm, stopwatch, it's got the day, day, it's a beautiful, it's got a beautiful light, oh, it's got a lovely backlight, um, it's a fantastic watch. Uh, so I haven't got one of them in my collection right now because both of those are on the backdrop of my studio um, uh, wall. And if you look closer, you can see, I think it's Leonardo's old non to one and another one's hanging out of a mug. Um, you can't see the backdrop that very well these days because it's very foggy and blurry. But uh, I must have one in my collection here so I can wear it. You know what I mean? Um, so my first watch is the um, Casio. These are all watches that I wear to work, okay, for my job um, as a tennis coach. Um, this is the A168WA, I think. Um, it's £20. £20 on Amazon. Um, we all know the um, the plastic Casios, uh, plastic looking, we got stainless steel looking plastic uh, resin cases. Um, I love the bracelets on, on these cheap Casios. They're really comfortable. Um, you know, some of you I know uh, have got hugely hairier arms than me and they are definitely hair tuggers. Um, and, uh, but I mean, you can get infinite fit with this little, very simple way of, um, adjusting a bracelet it's bloody good um, it's got a very good loom on it we've got the stopwatch um, and we've got an alarm it's exactly the same as an F91 it's just a souped up and a bit beefier case you know I when I bought this I thought it was a revelation I thought crikey this is my new see you later F91 bang 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 um, uh, but uh, I still keep going to that F91 I don't know why it's the it's the colors um, just not as good colors on this on this watch but um, 20 quid, you can't go wrong. Um, and next watch, I want to say, um, before I go to the next watch, Happy Wrist Channel's here. How are you, my friend? We've got Spooler here. Oh, Spooler, don't give it away. I've got that in my selection. Slicey Dicey. We've got some knife royalty here, my friend. Uh, nice to have you on this, on this uh, show. The next one is the, what is it? It's the MRW dash 200H. Um, now, this is a fantastic looking watch. Um, this is a very Luminox looking, it gets loads of likes on my Instagram, more than, more than, you know, higher end pieces. Um, it's 20 quid, it's 20 pounds. It's a quartz based, the last one obviously was a battery with its digital. This is a quartz based analog um, watch. It's got that field looking tactical dial like a Luminox. Um, the bezel is pants, um, but what do you want for £200? Um, it's also 100 metres water resistant, which is crazy. I love the, the handset. The handset is like a, can I get that closer? The handset is like a sort of squished SKX handset. You've got a day and date complication. There's no screw down crown. It's like, it's got your Casio um, screws in either in each corner, um, but the the the, the, um, the crown is a bit crappy. I have to admit that there's no screw down; it's just pop out. But uh, 100 meters water resistance. The strap is pretty good, pretty good. It's it's probably more comfortable than a G-Shock strap. I say that because G-Shock G-Shock straps are, are very tough, and um, you know for for the protection and safety. 
But these things are awesome. Um, and I don't know if you can see, but this is one made by Matthew. He was on the live chat. Matthew um, sent one of these in to me. This is a hydro mod. So this is filled with oil, which means it brings the, um, the depth rating of this watch to infinity. Yeah, yeah, I know you had to sort of um, take a step back there. So yeah, you can, can you see, can, where's the bubble? Let me see if I can see that. Oh, there's the bubble, there's a bubble. You can't see the bubble, um, but there's a bubble in there and the, the watch just looks cool. Um, there is depth to these watches. The depth does go um, uh, with this oil in there, but I'm well chuffed with it, Matthew. It's fantastic stuff. I'm going to do a review on this watch very soon. Uh, this is a watch I, I, I bought in lockdown. I haven't used it for work yet, but it's a watch that looks, it's got to look twice as much as what you pay for it. 20 pounds, 20 pounds. I mean, yeah, when someone goes and twists the, the friction only bezel, then you're going to get some sort of um, funny talking. But I love that little top little bit of red. So it's, it's friction, so it's um, bi-directional. It's pretty useless, really. But, um, uh, you know, I love I love this thing. And it's awesome for modding. I know Terry Terry Fenner mods his, um, uh, his uh, these, these bad boys. They're great. I, I'm, I'm, I've got a couple of these because Matthew very kindly sent one in. Um, uh, there he is. There's Matthew. Matthew Flinders. There he is. Um, he, he sent me this watch. I'm very grateful, my friend. And it will be starring in a, in a future show. Um, my next beta watch, um, I'm going up in price, everyone. Okay. Um, my next beta watch is, you know, probably, you know, if I, if you wanted a watch on your tombstone, uh, this would be, it, it, it epitomizes, you know, 80s for me. I'm an 80s kid. I'm a Back to the Future fan. I hope you like our new, the new channel art on the cover. My brother, it's absolutely fantastic what he's done. Um, he's put my face on Marty McFly's face. So if you if you haven't checked that out or, uh, or, um, already, have a look at the Instagram or the or the YouTube channel. He's done awesome. So this was on the wrist of Marty McFly in Back to the Future 2. It's probably the cheapest iconic watch you could have and you could beat it and you wouldn't be that bothered because you can just get another one. It does the calculator, it does stopwatch, it does a dual time, I think. You know, it's water resistant to 50 meters, but we all know these Casios say 50 meters and it's probably gonna go 200, you know, but we'll never know really how far this thing can go unless um, we do some sort of weird tests on it. You know what I mean? My next one is um, Michael Wilde, he, he has it on. Um, it is the uh, Mission Impossible watch, the beautifully ugly uh, watch, the watch that only your mother would love, the face that only your mother would love. Um, I love this, the Casio DW290. I love the shape of this thing. It's an underdog, isn't it? It is ugly, um, but I like its symmetry. Um, <laughs> you know, if you can call it symmetry, 200 meters water resistant. You've got your stopwatch, you've got countdown timer. You've got a great loom on this thing. It's tough. It's built like a brick house, um, and it's um, right now. I think I found it for 45, 50 quid. Um, they were a little bit cheaper than that, but I think obviously with the likes of TGV loving this watch, the prices go up. Um, and obviously, as soon as I keep talking about it, the prices, you know, the mad watch collector effect goes up. Do you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, uh, I love this watch, and this uh, I have, this has been in rotation when I was at work. Absolutely. Um, the star of the show could be the next one, and it is my G-Shock 5610, eh? The zombie, the zombie watch. This thing. Really, we could do this show in about 10 seconds and say, G-Shock, see you later. Uh, couldn't we? That, that's, even, that's even shorter than 10 seconds. Um, uh, this watch is superb. You know, you've got your, you've got your solar, you've got your multi-band six. If you haven't seen this show yet, please have a look at it. Um, I've had some great comments on the show. Um, you know, I've bought the, these aftermarket ball bars for a bit of toughness. You know, when I want my watch in a zombie apocalypse to use as a knuckle duster, da -da 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 -da. Um, I'm not sure it's going to do any extra um, protection on the watch, but what can this watch not do 
for any beta beta means. You know what I mean? Yes, it's not your office watch, but maybe it is. You know, maybe you like wearing short sleeve shirts, and you're a bit of, you're a bit of a sporty fella. Maybe you're that one weird guy at the office, but wear shorts. Do you know what I mean? And um, you or you know or Hawaiian shirts all the time. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, G shocks are for you. I I honestly I wasn't into G-Shocks until I started this channel and I got more and more into this G-Shock and once you go down that rabbit hole into the G, uh, it's unbelievable. I, I love this watch. Um, my brother, he actually watched this show and then bought one of these straight away. I was well chuffed with that because he thinks digital watches are a bit toys, a bit toy, but he does love um, uh, zombie apocalypse and I'm sure he's got, I'm pretty sure he's got a bug out bag. Well, now he's got his bag out watch, hasn't he? Um, so this is about ninety pounds on Amazon. Um, I massively recommend that. On to the next watch on my Beta Crusade. This is my awesome CWC G10. This was issued out to the military, the British military, the armed forces from uh, nineteen eighty two, I think, um, and it's a quartz uh, Swiss quartz uh, watch. Um, it's the only, I've, I think I've got two other quartz watches here, but it's one of the only ones that all the seconds, all the, se all the seconds hands are hit with that seconds hand, dial, with that seconds dial, um, with the hand, seconds hand, sorry. It's really awesome. This is a military beauty. Um, this is a reissue, obviously, of that um, 80s watch. You can buy these actually used. Um, they cost about 90 to 100 pounds if you want to buy them used. But I wanted the security of the guarantee. Um, and I love this watch. This would be, if I'm going on a hike to, I don't know, Snowdonia in Wales, uh, I will probably take this watch. This would be the watch I take, the CWC um, G10. Um, I love the NATO and I love the color of the NATO on it. It's just, it, you know, it's, I'm, I'm really, feeling i'm i'm really feeling the field watch vibe i love the aesthetic the pureness of the tool just there to tell you the time and to do it bloody well you know and and i i'm a massive fan of that g10 it's 219 pounds so we're getting it's a bit of a step up from the from that from that g-shock and arguably the g-shock can do a lot more than this g10 but I, I have the links to the British military, um, not me personally, a link, but um, I, I, I'm very proud of, of wearing that watch, you know, um, because it's it, it was worn on the wrist for, for many a serving uh, men and women, man and woman, do you know what I mean? Uh, so my next one, we are going into higher echelons. Not that much, though. I found this watch. Even now, I found this watch for £211 on Creation Watches. Now, I don't know about you, but Creation Watches, I think, are, um, I don't know where they are, actually, but um, they I've never had to pay import tax with Creation Watches. Maybe I haven't bought um, a, a higher price uh, watch. I think the highest I've ever bought on Creation Watches was £160, and, and that was a one of the watches coming up. But the next one, it has to be on there. Um, maybe maybe less so nowadays, um, because you know they're quite sought after, aren't they? The SKXs. This is the SKX 009K. It's not the Japanese one. I've got it on a beautiful um, Clockwork Republic um, uh, stainless steel end link rubber strap. I absolutely love that rubber strap. I can't Garrett, I can't recommend that enough, people. If you've got um, SKXs or the Five Sport KX or whatever, um, I really recommend this rubber strap. Um, it's a beautiful watch, 200 meters water resistant. It's cost, uh, ISO certified, not cost, ISO certified. It, you know, the service on these watches are 10 years. I'm not going to give it service. I very, I very much doubt that, um, and I'm pretty sure as long as I keep it ticking, you know, it's going to go forever. You know what I mean? So I, I, these are all my, um, for anyone that's coming in late, these are my beta watches, my sports watches, um, and I'm going up in price as we go on. Honest watch reviews. Hi James, how are you? Ryan's here. Hi Ryan, uh, nice to have you on board, my friend. Um, my next watch will be the SKX zero one three. This is definitely a better watch for me at work when I'm when I'm um, teaching tennis. 
Um, it's smaller on my wrist um, and it doesn't hurt. Sometimes I hold the, the tennis racket with two hands and it and the, the bigger SKX just jar my wrist a little bit. Um, I love this watch. This is, I, I still love the show I did. Um, one of the early shows, the one watch, the one watch um, collection show of this. Um, it really can do a lot because of its it's polishing and it's brushing and the fact it's black, it's got this monochrome um, color scheme. I love this thing. It is a little bit, I wish SKXs came in a size that were in between those two. It would be an absolute phenomenal watch, um, but there's no way they're gonna do that now, is it? I love this watch. I've got it on a um, Stealth Black NDC NATO. Look at the give on that. Ooh, infinite comfort. Uh, on that watch. Um, so we're getting to the higher prices of my beta watches. Uh, the next watch I've, I've, I've done, a, uh, this was in the land, and, land, air and sea show. This is my Seiko Mini Turtle. Um, this, I, I love this watch. I probably have been wearing this watch, watch the most at work. Um, I just love it. I love the, the, the sort of turtle style case. I love the, um, the textured dial. You see that textured dial? Yeah, sort of, not really. Um, I love Pepsi, Pepsi bezels. It, it goes back to my childhood when a friend of mine, his dad wore a Seiko Kinetic with a Pepsi bezel. I've, I've always loved Pepsi bezels. Um, and I probably like a, a, a uh, um, what are they called? Uh, yes, a Rolex Pepsi, uh, the Master Two. I probably uh, wouldn't say no to one of them either. I love this watch. So 200 meters port resistance. We got an upgrade in the movement. It's the four, four R35 movement. So you've got hacking and hand winding. Still only 21,600 beats per hour, but you know, it's got an upgraded bezel. I do like the bezel. Have a listen. Can you hear that? Let me give you an SKX now, because I do feel that's like slightly upgraded. Lovely there, huh? Didn't you like that bit of sound? Um, uh, Jan, Jan's here, huh, Janie? Got the old mug here. Lovely, lovely. Um, good. Uh, so they are nine of my beta watches. I've got one more beta watch. Um, let's be honest, I've got a few uh, more out there, but these are the ones I want to show you. Do you know what I mean? Uh, my last beta watch, if you can call it it, is the Seiko Um this watch I wear to work, I love it, I feel empowered, I feel strong, I feel like I can be any alien that comes in front of me. Um, I absolutely love this blooming thing. Uh, the only Annie Digi watch I own, um, I love the way uh, the crown works, I love the way the pushers work, um, I love the fact it's solar powered. This was very close, this was close. This was a close second to my zombie apocalypse watch, this thing. And the only thing, uh, well, the only two things really that, that um, made me want this watch more than this was slightly too big if, it was, if I was going to have it on my wrist every day for the rest of my zombie life, um, uh, post-apocalyptic. And it's a slightly heavy Chumley Biscuit. Oh, I do appreciate it. Thank you very much, my friend. Thank you. Um, when COVID is over, um, uh, or, you know, if I'm feeling generous, I will go get a packet of party rings, my friend, and I will send it your way um, because we could all do with a party ring in our life. Um, Jan's had party rings. She's had party rings. I sent them in a, prepare ca uh, a care package to um, Average Joe. Uh, Jimmy Lynn's here. Hi, Jimmy. Uh, get to the chapel. Um, I'm having real difficult difficulty trying to find the um, the right voice for the wise Arnie. Sometimes I'm nailing that voice. Other times it's crap. Um, so apologies on the last um, Arnie, but I did I did um, I did it three times. I thought oh, fuck it. I'll just leave it. Um, put the hublot down. Um, so yeah. So these are my these are my beaters from £10 to £420. Um, I'm sure you could get this cheaper on, I don't know, Joma shop, probably. Um, I'm sure you can get them cheaper. Definitely used. I bought mine used, by the way. It was pretty brand new, though, when I bought it. Uh, I got it on eBay 
I think it was for 280 so I got a very good deal on it. Um, I do love that watch though. Um, for anyone that's got small wrists, don't be scared of a Seiko SNJ025, okay? Because they fit well, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Now, um, thank you for everyone on the Facebook chat that gave me your favorite beta watches. We're gonna go through, just I, I picked four of the best ones that I thought were um, worth looking at and I hadn't really seen before. Jan, you're gonna love this one, by the way. Um, uh, I'm gonna send you more party rings, I, I will. No Marmite though, I promise. Um, uh, so this is a, a, a watch from uh, that Veronica sent and Jan's gonna love this. This is very attractive. As um, Kurt Santana would say, I may take this one out to dinner. Um, this is a baby G. Uh, let me see what it's called. What is it called? Where is she? There is, where is she? Um, this is a beauty. I really like this watch. Um, I can't remember what it's called because it's not. Uh, it's, um, this is a MSG 400G 1A1 Jan. Um, and I love this thing. Uh, this is stainless steel. If that was silver, um, it doesn't have baby G on it. Oh, you know, I'm a little bit getting a watch that has baby G on it because I know then you people know it's for it's for ladies with slightly smaller wrists you know you don't need to be does it um but there's that connotation this this is cool this is 100 meters water resistant I think and it does everything that the the G-Shock should do is shock resistant um look at those cogs working on the on the handset oh it's a it's a rose gold number isn't it but if that was in a stainless steel silver and black um i would i'd probably go for that i love the design of that um they, they make some incredible designs of watches Blumen Casio. they're crazy people aren't they absolutely crazy people um the next one we have is kevin um kevin has his g-shock he's here right now watching i think and he is wearing it it is the g-shock gba-800 this is one of those g-shocks that have bluetooth yeah it says it on the on the on the face bluetooth connect possibly you can put it as an app on your phone but look at that lovely i think that's a button at the bottom there for the loom it's a um, negative display um it's a no display to be fair isn't it but uh yeah tilt it to one side next time kevin um, so we can see uh but uh, i bet that loom is good i bet that loom is good uh, uh I, I i mean it's probably gonna he's got a lovely chunky wrist isn't it kevin i mean that would look like that would probably on me that would look like the actual millennium falcon is on my wrist um but uh, i i still like it still like it you know i've got nothing against big watches um just doesn't fit my wrist you know what i mean uh joe this is one i've never heard of this is his beta this is the aragon aragon uh, what is it? It's the Dive Master. You know, I did quite, yeah, quite like the look of this thing, you know. Um, I didn't know what the heck was going on with the date wheel, um, but i guessing it's the refraction from the hard necks or the mineral crystal, because that is a flipping huge date wheel, isn't it? Look at it. Uh, a date um, window that is huge you can see the numbers above and the numbers below um someone's had a bit of a howler with the size of that window um uh, but i think i like it i like it you know it's got crown crown at four o'clock possibly got an nh35 in it or, or a seiko movement in there but um I do love an aluminium insert. I think that's it's either aluminium or stainless steel. I do prefer that. I got to admit, sometimes, in my opinion, um, ceramic bezels can look a little bit cheap um, looking, unless you've got a Rolex or, or or a brand that you know is not cheap. Do you know what I mean? Um, I've never heard of Arrow. What you watching? I've never. Um, Oh, what you watch? He's got six of them. I need to look into it, my friend, because I, I've never heard of them. Um, so, yeah, I was really interested when um, Joe put this up, and I will do my research on them, my friend. Definitely. Um, but that's his beta. Uh, we have got how many more have we got? We might have one more. We got one. I think that's it. Oh, no, we've got Laird Chumley Biscuit. I spoke your name wrong, my friend. Um, but we've got Laird Chumley Biscuit. 
This is a lovely beater, isn't it? Um, a Citizen Eco Drive. Glyn will be very happy. Veronica, hi, Veronica, how are you doing? I've just shown off your um, baby G-Shock to the world, and uh, I think there's a lot of love out there, you know? Anyway, this is a Citizen Eco Drive perpetual calendar. It's a perpetual calendar. It's the BL5514-53L. Um, thank you very much, um, Chummy Biscuit, for giving us the reference number. He bought this in uh, 1980. He bought this in 2018 for, what was it? It was 218 pounds. 100 meters water resistant, solar powered. Oh, well, I, yeah, I mean, I, I love it. I don't know if the bezel moves. It, it doesn't look like there's any grip on that bezel, so don't look it, look like it does move. Um, it might do. Um, but yeah, look at that. That's, that is what I called an, a war horse, isn't it? That is a war horse of a beta watch. Uh, it just, just something. Do you know what I like about betas as well? You know, digital eco drives, digital beaters. You know, you can bring one out. I bring a beat. I've got a beta watch in my watch, top watch collection, collection like an F ninety one W or an A one sixty eight, and I use them to um to, to set the time on my mechanical um hand wind watches because I've got so many um mechanical watches and they run out of juice, they run out of power, and to and to set the time, I always use a digital watch. You know, and you know what I. It's, this is in my top watch box now because of the multi-band six, um, you know, get that accurate time. But thank you very much, Chummy Biscuit, for whacking that down. Um, now it's uh, up to you guys. What I thought we'd do is I will give you um, some scenario jobs, and I want you to give me your um, best watch you think would be, um, you know, would accompany this person doing this job. Um, uh, it's a beta watch, so it's a beta watch for them. Um, please don't just say G-Shock, because we all know we could just say G-Shock or F91W, and, you know, there we go. Um, so the first one, this is for all you out there, the, the first one is, can we think of a, the best beta watch for a carpenter? Okay, so we know carpenters, they saw, they hammer, they chisel, they screw, um, so... You know what? What we going What we thinking? What we thinking here, team? I'm gonna leave this up to you for a chippy. Uh, my dad's a carpenter, a cabinet maker for a uh, a yacht. Uh, he, he makes uh, cabinets for very fancy yachts, so he sees a fair few nice watches in his time. No one's given me. No one's given me a, a carpenter watch. Well, I know. Oh, oh Fraser's coming in. Fraser's coming in with a Casio Oak. Lovely stuff. Um, uh, Wataki watches, uh, Sundial, isn't it, mate? Sundial, uh, Phoebus. Do you know what we haven't talked about, Psycho Foo? We have not talked about homages. You're absolutely right, mate. What better beta than a mechanical watch that is under hundred pounds, um, with a very reliable movement in it, you know, and the specs are high, um, and yes, you don't mind them taking a beating. Um, uh, homage watches are tremendous for. For, for, for beaters, aren't they? You can't deny that. A Timex Indiglow from Joseph. Nice to see you, Joseph. That's a great shout, my friend. We haven't talked about Timex in the Beta Watch um, section yet, and Timex are fantastic. I do actually have an Iron Man. I couldn't find it, though. I love that watch. It's so retro. I may do a show on it soon, um, but I we all want to say, <laughs> we all want to say uh, uh, G-Shock. Uh, here we go. Casio with one of those shark tooth type bezels, so we can, yes, we can. We can also use James Bond, Roger Moore's from Live and Let Die with a circular saw. Uh, Chumley Biscuit with a Pagani design yacht master. He's got it, hasn't he? Look at that. Um, I actually bought my dad uh, for Christmas a, a Pagani design submariner. He's not into watches at all. Um, he's the one that's inherited my granddad's blooming uh, Rolex Explorer that it only comes out when I want to see it. It's in the safe. Um, but I wanted to, to get into uh, mechanical watches and what better watch, you know, for him to use at work and that than a, than a homage watch to beat it about and to and to have a, have a play and have a look at that exhibition case bag, you know. Marathon's a great shout spooler. 
Marathon do fantastic quartz watches and uh, automatic watches, you know, mil spec baggers, you know what I mean? Uh, Rory with a great shout at uh, Hamilton Khaki Field. I, I, I think that's a great, great shout. He said the time next. Iron Man as well. Mr. Kevlar has given us a Seiko reference, SNA411. Um, you can do the calculations on it. Um, not the way my dad types, Blumen Have you seen him with a controller on the telly at home? He's, a, uh, 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 he's still like one of that, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, uh, Fraser, ex excellent, my friend. What watches would you, what's your beta watch for, the, um, for, for carpentry? That's what I want to know. Uh, I think we've done well. Any carpenter out there, I think we've helped you out a little bit. What about, here we go, what about the best beta for a garbage stroke bin man stroke woman? Um, so we know it's gonna, it might get stained, it might get rubbish on it. You know, there's going to be shocks of the, of, the, of the garbage van, the lorry van, you know, the, the, the bin van. What do you think would be the ideal um, watch for this uh, garbage man or woman, huh? What do you reckon? I, I think it's got to be it's got to be a F ninety one probably, um, or a um, what else? We say. I, I mean, I would probably go G Shock as well. I wouldn't go auto, I wouldn't go mechanical probably for this sort of job. I would definitely do stay on the on the digital front. Uh, uh, you could do the Russian toy shop watch, Fraser. Yeah, <laughs> you could use the Vostok. I probably wouldn't use a mechanical watch in this in this sort of um, field. Really, it would be a digital beta um, or an analog one. I mean, that would look lovely. Shoving the old bins in the lorry, wouldn't they? Eh? Going down the road, you would be proud as pants wearing that with everyone seeing you just swanning around. This sleeve would be down, this sleeve would be rolled up, showing off the old tactical looking Casio. Um, so I would go, I would go that, mate. I would go that. Something dirt cheap, says James from um, uh, Honest Watch. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, the next one, best beta. For I'll be ready, I'll be ready. Um, the best beta for David Hasselhoff, huh? What do you think is the best beta for um a lifeguard on the beach? You know they've got those sand granules. Oh, um, I would not go in for anything. Um, uh, again, are we? You have to, whatever it is, whatever mechanical watch it is, it's got to have a screw down crown, isn't it? A uh, screw down case back. Don't let any of those sand particles get into the movement. Oh, Jesus, that would be the end of it, wouldn't it? Um, I think it would be a, oh, Rory's going for a Casio Mudmaster. It might affect the tan lines, my friend, with a flipping math, massive um, uh, uh, Mudmaster on it. Uh, yes, that is true, Slicey Dicey. They do pick up the lost and found and, you know, conveniently hide the things that they do like. I'm sure they do it. Come on. Um, Craig's got a great one with the yellow Casio Oak. Absolutely. I would say the dual row as well. That's a great shout. And the Pro Master, um, also Happy Wrist, uh, uh, would say the dual row. Dual row is a great shout, isn't it? Um, Chumley's going pro diver. I think that's a great shout. I think that's a very good shout. It's like under hundred pounds. Very good. Juliet's here. Hi, Juliet. Hamilton PSR as a beta. Oh my word, Juliet. Well, well listen, my brother's got one. My brother's got a, a, a PSR, and I probably is it a beta? I well, it's a digital watch. It only does the time. That's it. You press the button, and it just shows you the time. I would get something a little bit, it's not that big on the wrist, but I would get something a little less blingy as a beta probably. Um, uh, and it's, I, for, for the money, I think, you know, the PSR is slightly expensive, but I do like it. It's very difficult um, to um, for me to say that because it's quite expensive, but I do like, um, I do like that watch a lot. Um, you are very fortunate to have that lovely two-tone sub. Yeah, I wouldn't beat that. And IWC, what IWC do you have, Juliet? That's what I want to know. Um, but uh, it's a lovely watch. 
it's just completely different to your other two, isn't it? The old PSR. Um, but yeah, uh, it's lovely, lovely having you here. Um, so I, I think that's, I think that's sort them sorted out, isn't it? What about the best beater for a milk farmer? You know, I was doing the cows there, not the the um, goats. I was doing the cows there. Um, milk farmer. So it's going to get, it needs to be splash proof, doesn't it? It needs to be splash proof. It needs to be waterproof. It, oh, it, it could get in all sorts of places, couldn't it? You know, feeding the cows, tr delivering delivering cows. You know, it's got to be quite a small profile to fit in the cows. Um, anyway, you might lose it. Oh, cracky. Um, but what do you think is the best um, uh, watch for a milk farmer think about what he's wearing he's wearing tweed he's got a lovely cap on you know would he be wearing a g-shock a uh, very much i don't think so not unless he's a he's a hipster of a farmer do you know what i mean um automatic watch i'd probably go automatic it's gonna have to be a screw down crown um, a vostok i could definitely see uh, the old milk farmers you know, doing the old milk teats with um, a Vostok amphibia. Absolutely. That's a perfect shout. Um, no one come up with that. That was me. Um, so well done, Russell. That's super. Um, Juliet. Where is Juliet? She's got the... Oh, very nice. Very nice indeed. I will check that out. Very nice. Um, well, an automatic what would be well wound. Oh, my word. Definitely would be well wound. Our watch would be well wound, my my friend. Um, milk farmers get up early. Needs to be something with good loom. That this guy is thinking, isn't he? Ah, oh, that's tremendous stuff, my friend. Um, I I didn't even think about his actually daily daily routine, but you are fantastic. Absolutely, it probably works um, very late in the night as well. So a loom would be. Massive. The Vostok's out the window. Vostok's out the window. If if Loom's important to him, he needs to possibly um, think about a different watch. Uh, my 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 friend. Um, other trash. Absolutely. Um, oh, Veronica. Mm. But leather bands could pick up smells. See, Veronica's thinking about this a little bit too deeply as well. But I love it, Veronica. I love it. Um, you're absolutely right. So stainless steel racer, I think, on a on a farmer. I can't see a rubber strap on him, you know. Um, like I said, I can't see a digital watch on him, not unless it's actually a digital watch that he actually bought in 1984. I can't imagine him picking one up as new. But yes, a leather strap would not be great, would it? It would not be great. I, that's a great shout. SKX013, Pale Horse. Nice to have you aboard. That is a very good shout. I would definitely um, have that with a, I'll probably have a rubber, rubber strap or the uh, ju jingly jangly a jubilee bracelet. Absolutely. Um, uh, honest, what, James has got a great shout there, hasn't he? Um, like a marathon or a night. I don't know if you've heard of the brand Night, but Night watches are superb. Um, they are um, tritium. They've got tritium um, tubes that uh, stay bright forever, I think, for 20 years. I think that's a great shout, James. Absolutely awesome shout. Um, uh, what else? We've got one last one. And the last one is, um, where is it? There we go. The best beta for a safari tour guide. That's random, isn't it? You know I'm random. Um, so let's let's imagine he's in Africa um, and he's showing the families, the lions, the elephants. He might have to get off the truck to um, maybe shoo off a rhino. Um, what would be on his wrist is going to be hot. So we need something that's got um, some air. He needs some air filtration there in, the, in his watches. What would be your best watch? I would probably, probably say a stainless steel or something. Um, uh, ex oh, here we go. Uh, an expedition, um, definite, a scout expedition from Timex. That's a great shout, isn't it? Um, and obviously, you being outside the whole time, you'll never hear that damn thing ticking. Because that thing ticks. I mean, that is the loudest ticking watch I have ever bought a Timex a Scout Expedition. 
uh, a boulder venture. I love boulders. They are great. Um, uh, absolutely. Um, Happy Wrist, the ball engineer. It's a great show. It's a lovely watch. Um, uh, a monster <laughs> uh, with a red dial. That uh, that red dial on that monster. That is incredible. Terry Sailing Expedition. I think that's a good shout as well. Um, Hamilton Khaki. I could definitely see that on a um, wrist of a, a safari tour, tour, uh, tour guide. I need to look at this, Chumley. I don't know what the Astron is, but I will have a look at that very, very, um, very soon. Craig's here. Hi, Craig. The Smiths PRS40. Yes, very nice on a, on a nice bracelet. They do very nice bracelets now to Smiths. Um, that's all my, that's all my job. I thought that was a bit of fun, you know what I mean? I thought it was a bit of fun doing that. I hope um, if you are looking for beta watches or you're looking for your next beta watch, we've given you some good um, suggestions. Uh, thank you very much to the Facebook guys for giving me your suggestions. If you haven't um, joined the Facebook group, come on down. It's a bit of fun. Um, I enjoy um, chatting with you guys. I also enjoy showing them a little bit the um, behind the scenes stuff. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to be shooting a Pagani design watch, um, and then I'm back to two watch two shows a week I think, and I'm doing the my my granddad's Rolex Explorer watch. I'm going I'm revisiting it um, because uh, I think I can do a better job, um, you know, filming the watch now. You know, I've got great macro lens and I, and I want to really show it off even more because it's a very important watch to me. You know, it is. It, it started off my watch obsession. I think it needs a good, um, uh, needs a good uh, 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 show again. It is the Mad Watch Collectors, my friend. Um, go on there and just type Mad Watch Collectors. I don't think it's all one word, but yeah, Mad Watch Collectors. If you can't find it, I'll send you a link, my friend. It'd be nice to have you aboard. Uh, cut. Oh look, I'm getting a. Come and join the Facebook page. Everyone says Terry. Everyone that's on here, 39 of you, can you click like on this um, show? It really is appreciative. A uh, huge thank you to Chumley Biscuit for your um, uh, super chat, my friend. It means a lot. Thank you. Uh, oh, Veronica, thank you. Um, she knows. See, I, it's, it's a group that I come up with, and Veronica knows more than me. It's the MWC Club. Of course it is. I do apologise. Of course it is. What an idiot. Um, there you go, isn't it? Uh, thank you very much for everyone for watching. Um, I look forward to, uh, I'm not going to do a live show next week, but I'm going to be on Average Joe's channel. So if, please, um, if you haven't subscribed to his channel yet, please do so. Um, I think we're going to be talking about zombies, I think, but we might talk about something else. Um, but so I won't be on here, but I will be, I think it's 5 p.m. my time. I'm going to do a live show with him. I'll advertise it on Instagram and everything anyway. Uh, thank you very much for joining everyone, all 40, 40 of you that have um, stayed till the end. Um, it means a hell of a lot to me. Um, I'm honoured that you stayed for this long or, you know, if you've been watching something else and you just come in and just watch me waffle. Um, you guys are on the chat. You've made such a difference. You, you always make such a difference to um, these live shows. Uh, because I love interacting with you guys, you know. Um, but thank you very much. Um, I just want to say a big thank you. And uh, from me, the Mad Watch Collector, I'll see you in a tick, 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 a tick. <laughs>